It's not clear how many students have been conned by the fraudsters and how much money they have illegally collected through two city banks where they opened an account under the name Students Education Fund Uganda, SEFU, grant. Their address is Secretariat, P.O. Box 2093, Kampala, email studentfund at gmail.com and student at fund.go.ug. The telephone number is 0414-25-2000. I've been trying to get to them throughout the whole day as one of the students who is interested in the scheme, but the number goes through, no one picks it. That rang a bell that this could be a quack secretariat, and it normally targets the students who have completed senior six, past examination as well, but they cannot afford tuition. So we want everyone out there to know that someone out there is defrauding people under the name of the loan scheme. According to the Ministry of Education, each of the students was required to pay 30,000 shillings to the following accounts before 28th June 2013. Diamond Trust Bank Limited, account name SEFU Grant, Stanbic Bank Limited, account name SEFU Grant. It's alleged that the owners of the accounts were given ATM cards, yet they were purportedly doing work on behalf of government. We shall, we shall go to, to these banks and find out uh, how they managed to open up these accounts, where they actually got the, the support documents. We expect the police to apprehend these people, and the law will take its course. Hopefully they will be arraigned before courts of law and, and, and uh, charged. The only way to access the secretariat is by email in bank accounts. NTV today accessed one of the emails from Obel Isaac, a student from Lira, Abura village, who sent his application to the secretariat in question on 13th June in order to beat the deadline. It was addressed to the Minister of Education and Obel wanted to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Technology and Management at Chambogo University. The reason why he wanted to apply for the loan is because he is from a humble background, citing that his parents are peasant farmers and cannot afford his tuition. So people should be cautious. Anything uh, uh, which comes up, which looks so good, one should endeavor to cross-check the truth of it before you actually go for it. The acting permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, Doreen Katsimi, says the government student loan scheme is not yet ready to be rolled out. It will only come into operation when the bill has been passed into a law by parliament and that's when we will come out, we will sensitize the public, we will tell the students what they need to do to be able to apply for loans. The ministry projects that it will spend five billion shillings in the first year but it is still awaiting parliament to enact a law that will govern the scheme. This is to prevent the abuse of government initiative that targets science students as part of efforts to encourage science education in the country. For example, we're going to start with students who are offering medicine, pharmacy, and also students who are going to do education, but science, because we are lacking science teachers. NTV has learned that cabinet has made some adjustments on the bill, which require all the bona fide students to clear the loans a year after completion of their studies, with or without jobs. It is anticipated that the scheme will kick off before the end of the year. Still Biarhanga, NTV.